Hey everyone, my name is Biz and welcome to your very first flowchart tutorial. So what's a flowchart? According to Google, flowchart is a diagram of the sequence of movements or actions of people or things involved in a complex system or activity. Now that's very complex, isn't it? So to put it simply, it's actually a drawn or graphical representation of any algorithm. Now I hope you know what is an algorithm. An algorithm is nothing but a sequence of instructions that you need to follow to solve a particular problem. So let me just give you a real world example. Suppose you are at your home, your mom comes and she tells you that listen, I've kept some money on the table, take it and go to market and buy some fish. So she has given you a task that you have to complete. Now how will you complete that? To complete this task you need to follow some procedures. So what are the procedures? So at first you need to start doing the task, right? You need to start it and then you need to approach the table and take the money. Then you go to the market, you buy the fish and then you return home and give the fish to your mom and then your job's done. So this is a simple example. Now the procedures that you followed to complete this task as I mentioned a bit ago those procedures when you write them one after the other sequentially then that forms an algorithm. And what is a flowchart? It's, as I said, the graphical representation of that algorithm, which you can see on your screen right now. So at first you start, then you take the money from the table and go to market, then you buy some fish, then you return home and give the fish to your mom, and at last but not the least, you stop your work. So there is a flow, right? There is a flow starting from start then you complete some processes and then you stop and that's why because of this flow it's called a flow chart now you might be wondering that why I've used different shapes here like a oval shape here a rhombus type of a shape here a rectangle here why have I even used the shapes I could have written all this simply well it's just because when you are drawing a flow chart then you need to maintain some rules, you need to maintain some notations and don't worry I will talk about all of that in the next tutorials but you have to maintain all this so that's simply what is a flowchart so I hope that's it for this tutorial and in the next videos I will be talking about the basic notations that you need to know to draw flowcharts and then we will begin starting to you know build different flowcharts to solve problems so again guys thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next one